Hey, welcome back into another Bruise with Beck 2024. Uh, we're getting off to a great start. I'm Dan. How the hell are you? Uh, so, brought a lot of beers back from uh, Tejas, good old Texas, and uh, these are two that I wanted to match up against each other uh, just because, you know, they're on either side of Houston. Uh, one would be um, Real, a Real Ale Brewing Company out of Blanco, Texas, uh, and the other would be uh, Parish Brewing out of uh, Broussard, uh, Louisiana. Yeah, Houston's literally pretty much right smack in the middle of them. Uh, Blanco, uh, you know, probably a couple hundred miles uh, west of Houston, I think that's right. And then, you know, Broussard, Louisiana, about a couple hundred miles east of Houston. So there you go. Uh, hopefully you're having a great day. Uh, let me, you know, let me know if you're what you're drinking, what you're doing. Uh, all I ask is you please hit the like and subscribe button for the YouTube algorithm. That way we can sit down with cold drinks like this anytime you want. All right, all right, all right. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much. Ding. All right. So, yeah, I've got a lot of beer to go through. So the comparison thing is quite nice. And these are, you know, somewhat local to the Houston setting. Uh, so I... First, on my left, uh, the classic. These are both uh, very well-known brews. Parish Brewing, Ghost in the Machine. Uh, I have had it on tap uh, a couple times before, but now I'm actually ready. I did have the Ghost in the Laboratory, which was their collaboration with Equilibrium, uh, that you can check out on the channel as well. Uh, but uh, anyway, it, the Ghost in the Machine says, Welcome to the future. Our collective human consciousness, or Ghost in the Machine, has gained a tolerance for hops Beyond what mankind has ever known before, this double IPA is the necessary outcome. As you can see, nice big hazy, so probably oats and wheat in it. Don't really, uh, I'll, I'll look at the break, but I just wanted to start. It, it doesn't say what hops are in this. I'm sure I could probably find out. Um, don't know if it's a big combo or just a few. But anyway, 8.5 on the Richter. Tap in. Uh, yeah, double New England. Uh, so there you go. Classic. Please leave in the comments if you've had this, what you think of it. I'm. You'll see how I think of it. And uh, let's let's go forth. It, apparently it says it's 100 IBU. So, wow, 87,000 people have had it, giving about a 4, 2, 3 out of 5. Pretty good. All right. On my right, um, Real Oil Brewing out of Blanco, Texas. Uh, this is Devil's Backbone. I've reviewed multiple of Real Ale's beers before. I have not I even uh, done Devil's Backbone, even though I've had it. Kind of, so the kind of similar things. I've had these uh, a couple times in my life, but I have not uh, reviewed them. So there we go. Uh, this one is, allegedly, let me make sure that's right. Yep. 8.1 on the Richter. Tap it in. Uh, so relatively the same size beer. Um, by the way, it's... Uh, it's golf week, the first uh, week of golf century champion, uh, championship, tournament of champions in Hawaii, uh, Maui. So check that out. Um, so Devil's Backbone, uh, 52,000 people have rated this on Untapped. So very popular. Uh, rates about a 3.7 out of 5. So this one tends to get a high rating. We'll see what I think. Uh, it is named for a winding stretch of Hill County uh, Country Highway. Devil's Backbone is a Belgian-style triple. Uh, featuring a beautiful pale golden color. Uh, it has spicy hops. Belgian yeast work together to create a distinctive flavor and aroma. Don't let the color fool you. This one is a dark side. Uh, traditional Belgian brewing techniques and add strength uh, without increasing heaviness. Find one near you or better yet, take a road trip out to Blanco. I assume it's Blanco, Texas. Uh, we promise the views and the brews will be well worth the drive. All right. So there you go. Two classic... Just around Houston brews, 200 miles one way, 200 miles the other way. Uh, you know, my Louisiana guy, you, you know, you, you know who you are. If, if you want to comment on either one of them, I'm sure you've had both of them. Um, you know, please do. And uh, that's about it. So let, without further ado, let's get to the Ghost in, uh, Ghost in the Machine from Parrish. Let's see what we got. Roll it around a little bit, get a little aroma. Almost get some nice creamy lemon. Okay. Maybe some maybe some orange tangerine. Alright, but I definitely get like high creamy, creamy lemon. Not gonna lie. Alright. Well let's dig in. No words, just uh, you know, Texas and Louisiana beers. 
like and subscribe. Let's drink some beer. Hopefully your uh, first week of the new year is going well. Okay. Malty. I, I don't know. I do not know. It was given to this but for my uh, brother and sister-in-law. How long this has been in the bottle. So I'm sure it probably hasn't been you know too long. But the reason I say that is right off the bat, I think I get a little bit of uh, some maltiness. But some nice poignant, uh, you know, citrus and, and hops. Um, let's see. What, what else do we get in here? Very creamy. Wheat, um, wheat and citrus. Um, it's nice. Um, does it feel like 8.5 on the Richter? Which is what Ghost in the Laboratory was. Same exact thing. Ah, I would have guessed probably eight, to be dead honest with you. Uh, very close, but still, just, you know, about a half percentage less. So, tastes a little smoother than it actually is. It's always a good thing. Uh, does have, does have though, like a beaming, like, I don't know if it's like an earthy malt note. That, get, that does get at you, but nice. Um, not sure... If I get like maybe some uh, like subtle subtle toffee and caramel, just like but not really too sweet. But yeah, going down pretty good. All right, feels like eight, and I'd say the mouthfeel on this is let's say it's about sixty out of a hundred. So medium, approaching uh, on its way to full mouthfeel, but still pretty far from you know one of the thickest beers you've had. All right. So that that in mind, let's let's get let's get to the Devil's Backbone from uh, uh, Real Ale Brewing. So the so yes, Parish Brewing was here, Broussard, Louisiana. There you go. Get down to Louisiana, Louisiana beer reviews. There you go, Ronald. Um, and so all right, Real Ale Brewing, Blanco, Texas, eight one, Belgian triple. Let's get a smell. A little bit, I um, feel like I get more earthy, non-creamy, earthy, maybe some like subtle, subtle tangerine, but not, not, not as, not as much as that. Maybe a little bit more just regular barley kind of, kind of feel to this one, but I do get that triple uh, note of kind of like a kind of a wit beer uh, citrus um, you know I'll think of it in a second what I always get but just that subtle spicy I don't know, it's not cardamom but you know something like that all right so no words just emotions like and subscribe let's drink this beer yeah def def definitely <laughs> if you want to see a great line or movie point break you want to be a t uh, hero and go get the bad guys Definitely. Uh, here's, to, here's to you, Zach. Uh, guy who, my roommate who would constantly say that in college. Lo lo love the guy. All right. Maybe, maybe some pineapple, but um, anyway, all value what I get. It's very, it's that typical triple feel of a little spicy citrus, uh, kind of like a whip beer. Not as thick as a whipped beer, I don't think, but, um, and some, you know, some tangerine. Uh, uh, it is 8.1. Does it feel like 8.1? Yeah, you definitely, and you get, definitely get some brown sugar and some, uh, you know, maybe some peach in there too. Um, but some spiciness, uh, it feels like it could be like, like same thing, about seven and a half. So. Not quite eight one to me, but definitely nice. I would I would probably know this is a triple either if, if I didn't know what this was, I would have guessed it was a triple or maybe a golden ale. Like a strong golden ale, uh, potentially. 
But uh, there you go. As it says, spicy hops, Belgian yeast work. Uh, okay. All right. Well, give me a second. Uh, this one feels like seven and a half to me. Mouthfeel, I didn't do that. Again, kind of getting, there you go. A little toffee, a little caramel, uh, brown sugar going in there. Um, ah, I don't know. I'd say 40, 40 out of 100, approaching a medium mouthfeel. But there you go. So you can see love my lovely mug uh, and, the, and the Joker, of course. Uh, give me a second. I'm going to see if there's anything I'm missing here. Two kind of completely different, but, you know, some some joining characteristics are uh, going to give them a grade and uh, get the hell out of here. So, but again, leave in the comments if you've had this or what you're drinking, or what you're doing right now, this week of 2024. One sec. Alrighty. Um, so I looked at a few, uh, you know, I couldn't figure out what it is. It's yeah. You get that. I, I don't know why I always forget that. It's like the whole, like, yeah, you get kind of like a banana clove, um, you know, spice thing going on from most uh, triples. And, my, my buddy P would be so unhappy with me that basically a triple is a Belgian strong ale, uh, or golden, golden, uh, strong golden ale. I think so. Anyhow, um, yeah. So, so, uh, yeah, banana, let's get back to it. Let's, let's stay focused. Yeah, definitely getting that, like, like, Clove, I mean, heavy, heavy, that's what I, that's what I was missing. Definitely nice banana clove meets a little subtle spice some citrus, um, with maybe a little, little notes of like pineapple and, uh, you know, tangerine, maybe, um, just, you know, tropical brighter than this one. Just letting you know. All right. But let's just get to a grade. So, so we can, uh, determine the both. All right. Stellar down to hell. No. By the way, a lot of people are saying Happy New Beer. Uh, Happy New Beer, of course. Happy New Year. Happy New Beer. So, Stone Down to Hell No on Devil's Backbone by Real Ale. With all the banana clove triple aspect to it. It's nice. Um, and smooth for 8.1. Feels like 7.5, maybe. Maybe even 7. Uh, I don't even know. That's just... That's just my, my round, roundest guess. Um, one more time. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, I'll give it that credit. It's just, I almost gave it a top end reasonable, but I'm going to give it a just creeping into decent. Uh, that's a, that's, I'll give this a 90. So like just creeping into A minus category for the Devil's Backbone, uh, you know I know that and I think the value on it's pretty good too. I remember when I got um, I don't know I got the when I got Wee Heavy and I got the Russian Imperial I got, I got like a mixed uh, six pack for like twelve bucks. It's great with all the heavy ABVs on it and the quality. But anyway, this sits at a ninety for me, uh, A minus, and uh, but I do like nice and bright uh, banana clove citrus uh bright like a like a triple would be strong gold nail and then this i really noticed uh just kind of getting a lot of like lemon you know lem creamy lemony oats and uh and kind of a big malt a little bit maybe a little kind of more earthy i don't want to say dank but just like if you're comparing it one person said very much like Toppling Goliath. I'd have to see it side by side. I mean, I've done reviews on Toppling Goliath, but all right. Well, I'll finish this one and I'll give this a grade. No words. Let's down it. Just like and subscribe before I do it. That's all I ask. Cheers. <sighs> Definitely creamy. Definitely. Got like a bready, subtle caramel malt. Again, don't know how how much it's been in the uh, bottle, but and some oats, you know, a little citrus. Ah, uh, all right. Stower down to hell no on Ghost in the Machine. 
again, I'm sure I've, I think when I had it fresh, it was a little bit like you could taste. It was a little fresher. Um, so I think I'm getting, you know, this one might be, plus I had to travel with it and all that. I'm still going to say it's the same grade, except just a little higher. That's decent. Now, again, I could be mistaken if it was fresher, um, but I'll give it a, I'll give it a 93 out of a hundred strong, a minus almost getting into a category. Uh, if it, it, depending if it was a fresher can or off the tap, maybe it would be Maybe I don't, I don't know, but this current one gets a nice, uh, you know, strong a minus cause I, and I know it can, I know it can do better. So anyway, that's it. Leave some comments. Uh, you know, like, and subscribe, let me know what you're drinking, what you're watching as usual. And, uh, we'll see you in the next beer review. Hopefully your, uh, you know, first part of the year is going well. I know it's supposed to be dry January for some people. Not for me. I'll try to, you know, ease it, ease it down a little bit, of course, but, uh, yeah, definitely not dry January for me. All right. Cheers to you. Uh, like, and subscribe. We'll see you out there. Peace.